What's going on my friends? This is Dustin Stelzer with Electrician U. Today we are going to answer the question, what is a neutral? So there are a couple of different ways that we can look at a neutral. And in code, uh, for the longest time, a neutral was just call, called a grounded conductor. You would hear things like uh, the neutral point in a system, um, but they didn't really go by neutral. In most of this book, they call it the grounded conductor, which is confusing because there's an ungrounded conductor and there's a grounding conductor. So when they talk about grounding, a lot of the times as an electrician, you think they're talking about the ground, but they're actually talking about the neutral and they're calling it the grounded conductor. So the first thing I think is a good idea is to look at uh, Article 100 of the National Electric Code. We're in the 2020 code book. Uh, what do they consider a neutral, more specifically neutral conductor? It says the conductor connected to the neutral point of a system that is intended to carry current under normal conditions. So it's a conductor connected to the neutral point of a system. So if we're gonna talk about the neutral point, let's say from our utility company, we've got these conductors that come in, right? We're up in a utility transformer. Inside of a transformer, you know, you've got your two incoming wires and then you've got a coil of wire essentially. Uh, that is your primary side. So I'm gonna call this P for primary. Then our secondary side, let's say that we've got less, uh, less of those windings, right? So uh, our primary voltage, we'll just say we're at 7200 volts and on our secondary side we'll just say that we have 240 volts well in this system that's still just two different hots and two different hots here right so we're just taking and inducing a voltage into the secondary but there's no neutral that's like run in with here that like traverses over and jumps over to here so usually at our electrical service we generate a neutral so what we call the neutral point is a point in the system where we tap off of. So let's say in the middle of this coil, we tap this uh, in the exact center and we come out with a conductor. Well, if there's 240 between our two hots, then we've got 120 between each hot and neutral, but still 240 between them. So this is what we would call the neutral point. So again, code says that the neutral conductor is a conductor connected to the neutral point of the system that is intended to carry current under normal conditions. So they are intending for this conductor to carry current. So if we've got uh, loads on this, say we've got like a light bulb that's connected, we're gonna be going from, this would actually be backwards, the, the bottom would be where the hot comes in, the neutral would be where the shell is. We're just conceptualizing this here, so don't get like crazy about the details. So we would have current flowing back and forth 60 times a second on this. And say over here, we've got like a microwave, right? Like we got a little cord that goes here and uh, out of that cord, we're tapped into the neutral. So we would have some current that's going from hot to neutral here and some current that's going hot to neutral here. They're gonna be in reverse order because if the if the current is pulling back and forth on the 240 volt system, there's gonna be some current that's going this direction and some current that's going this direction the whole time. So that's why the currents in the neutral balance out. So if say our light bulb, if we had like two amps flowing on this 120 volt side through the light bulb, but we've got 10 amps flowing through this circuit going through the microwave, then we have an imbalance that's happening. So the neutral is always going to carry whatever that imbalance is because again, we have some going in and some going out. So we have to subtract those things. So we would end up having eight amps of current traveling on that neutral conductor. The neutral can really just be thought of as the same thing as the two hots. It's just another conductor that gives us half of that voltage. So instead of you having a full 220 volt or 240 volt circuit, now you have two smaller 120 volt circuits. So really you can kind of think of it as an ungrounded conductor. It's just, or a hot, but it's just that we're not, we've attached it to the neutral point, so we call it a neutral. So the reason that we call it a grounded conductor is this conductor is actually intentionally grounded. It's intentionally brought to earth. 
So we are able to call it a different thing. We call it the grounded conductor. While neither of these would be considered grounded, they are the ungrounded conductor. So that's why we have hot and neutral, ungrounded and grounded. Now, a grounding conductor is a completely different thing. We'll get into that a little bit more at a later time, but any kind of circuits that we have that we run to things, we always have a ground that goes over to um, our system. We call that an equipment grounding conductor. At our service, we have a thing called a grounding electrode conductor, which is a conductor that goes to an electrode in the earth, um, which is also grounding the system. Uh, but that's where these terms get kind of confusing. So let's just uh, understand what a neutral is. It's really just another ungrounded conductor, but it is intentionally grounded, so we call it the grounded conductor in code. Best can to use it and video.